is klar, Leverkusen sind wunderbar. Top of the table, still yet to taste the feet. Will they go the whole season unbeaten? We're going to take a look at it. All of it. That's why, folks, back with another production video today. We're taking a look at match day number 25. That's right, over in the Bundesliga. And we'll get to that in a second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for the Bundesliga? It's right here. I know I'm risking it. World football, Rovers football, Bundesliga football, all here, baby. Of course, you don't need to go anywhere else. And of course, if you're new, where have you been? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. A whopping 75% of you are unsubscribed, guys, of course. Leverkusen continue to run away with it. 10 points clear now over Bayern, who, of course, also slipped up last week. Uh, as well with a couple more drop points but right now it's no surprise because the Leverkusen are just too good at the moment but what's going to go on this weekend will of course they suffer their first defeat we'll take a look at it in a second big shout out to my VIPs they are the patrons you know who you are again if you're new subscribe and of course hit the old like a whopping 75% of you are unsubscribed by the way a whopping 75 a whopping fumfen zipsish uh, of you are not subscribed guys anyway let's take a look at those last games that were right here right now of course, kicking all off with a, with another shock, uh, or, or is it? Or is it? Bayern could only master a two-two draw against Freiburg. I want a two-one win for Bayern, but got it wrong. Meanwhile, Dortmund with a big two-nil win over Union Berlin. I did go the other way on that one, so a little bit of egg on my face there. Leipzig four-one winners of a Bochumann with a two-nil win, not too shabby. Frankfurt with a two-one win over Heidenheim and with a one-one draw on that one. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mainz. 1-1 uh, draw against Borussia Mönchengladbach with a 2-1 away win on that one. And Augsburg, 6-0 winners over Darmstadt. I went with a 1-1 draw on that one as well. Uh, Stuttgart, big 3-2 win over Wolfsburg. Again, I went the opposite way. Leverkusen, 2-0 win over Köln. Got the one spot on. And Hoffenheim, 2-1 winners over Werder Bremen. Of course, so yeah, not great for me in my picks there. But of course, it's 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 early days. It's, well, it's, not, it's not early, it's late days. This is the table right now. As you can see, Leverkusen top the charts. 10 points clear over, over Bayern. Stuttgart up there, of course, they're still, uh, yeah, it looks like they could be destined the Champions League football next season. Borussia Dortmund are in fourth right now. Going down is Darmstadt, is Mainz. Kuhn also in, in a hot water as well with, with of course, uh, Gladbach and Wolfsburg struggling still. Yet to really get going this season. But that's, of course, my picks. Of course, what about your own picks? Well, the Super Brew is wide open, of course, and uh, kicking ass and taking aims. I'll show you those in a second. Of course, as we look back to all that, don't forget that this is the perfect time to remind you all to smash the old like, get it in there, get, of course, uh, if we can get 50 likes, that'd be absolutely fucking crazy, guys. Uh, you guys, come on. Anyway, here it is. Ultra Omira, 14 points of the board. Well done to him. Saki up there with 12.5. Alongside Zandos, Alex Weller, fully seven, and the rest of the pack. If you see name in there, smash your like, please. Try to get up to 50 likes. That'd be absolutely crazy if we could do just that. Uh, yeah, so that's the situation for this past round. Uh, but the overall table looks a little bit more... Does it look a bit different? A little bit. Costas K, kicking ass, of course. Well done to him. Vindaloo victory. Zandus, Alex Miller. Non-movers, it looks like. But Saki up two spots to number five. Tennessee down to number six. Ultra Omnia up four. Number seven. Big mover him. Vinny Hong down four. Of course, all changing in the top ten. Well, a lot changes in the top ten. That's, of course, the state of play over there. Again, like, 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 guys. Let's get, of course, those uh, likes in the old uh, bracket there. Let's see if we can get close to that big 50. I would really do. I'd be crazy if we get back to those numbers. Anyway, let's kick it off forward then. Let's take a look uh, forward to the next round of games, uh, which all kick off on this Friday, the 8th of March. But we'll beware the 8th of March. Uh, of course, it's still, guys. Union Berlin is coming at you at the Mercedes. Benz Arena. That's right. They have pitched it 12 times. It's done six, three wins apiece and six draws so far. Stuttgart, 3 0 win the biggest. Gone 15 goals in 12 matches. 1.25 goals a game on average. Union Berlin, 3 0 win their biggest. Gone 14 goals in 12 matches. 1.17 goals a game on average as well. Union Berlin, they're 50% form for them at the moment. 1 2 loss to and drawn 2 over the last six. Just one defeat in the last five. They are 14 for the table. 25 points on the board against the Stuttgart side. Just one win. Sorry, one defeat in the last six. 75% form for them at the moment. They are third and 50 points on the board as well. Last around the over in Stuttgart, it was a uh, in the uh, in the league it was a 1-0 win for Union Berlin back in October 2022 the reverse fixture this campaign at Berlin was a 3-0 win for Stuttgart back in October this campaign however spoiler alert they also played each other again in the DFB Pokal in Stuttgart round 2 it was it was a 1-0 win for Stuttgart as well so Stuttgart winning back to back against uh, Union Berlin back to back clean sheets as well looking for a 3 beat. the odds for this one 2-1 to on us Stuttgart 7-2 the draw 5-1 to your long shots of course Union Berlin back in Stuttgart here to get the win 2-1 win make it 3 wins on the bounce against Union Berlin that's right Bayern München 
up against, uh, where are they here? Where are they? Why are they against Mainz? There they are, of course, coming out on Saturday the 9th of March. They have played each other 41 times. since 2004, 34 wins, uh, 30, 30 wins for Bayern, 8 wins for Mainz, 3 draws so far. Bayern with a 6 0 win, scoring uh, uh, highest, of course, 120, 120 goals scored in 41 matches, 2.93 goals a game on average. 3 1 win, the biggest, though, for Mainz, 53 goals scored in 41 matches, 1.29 goals a game on average. Mainz, though, 33% for them right now, just one defeat, uh, one win in the last six uh, for them at the moment. 17 for the table, 16 points on the board uh, as well. Ma uh, Bayern, 42% form for them right now, unbeaten the last three. They are second, 54 points on the board. Last around the over in, Bayern, it was a 6-2 win for, for the hosts there back in uh, October 2022. The reverse fixture, this campaign uh, was a 3-1 win for Bayern in Mainz back in October uh, earlier in the season. The odds for this one, 4-1 on your Bayern, 6-1 is the draw, 70-2 is of course your way. When Bayern will win this one, they're back to winning ways and of course keep the heat at the top of the table, but it's looking too far already. But Borussia Mönchengladbach against Köln, a bit of a derby. This one up against at Borussia Park. They have played each other 47 times since 1992. We've got 26 wins for Gladbach, 13 wins for Köln. Eight draws so far. Gladbach with a big 5-1 win, their biggest score. 87 goals in 47 matches. 1.85 goals a game. Köln, no 4-0 win, the biggest score. 47 goals. Uh, sorry, 4-0 win, the biggest score. 52 goals in 47 matches. 1.11 goals a game on average. Köln on 42% form for them in the moment. Just one win in six. They are 16 for 17 points on board. I guess the Borussia Gladbach side also on 42% form for them. One win in six. 12th in the table. 26 points on the board as well. Common actual. Last time on that over in Gladbach, it was a 5-2 win for Borussia back in October 2022. The reverse fixture in Köln back in October. 3-1 win. It was way back when. The odds for this one, 5-4 to on it's Borussia. 3-1 to the draw. 6-5 to five is, of course, is your Köln. I'm backing my boys here. 2-1 win. Borussia take the spoils on this one. Augsburg up against Heidenheim uh, on Saturday the 9th of March as well. The WWK Arena played each other seven times since 2012. Three wins for Augsburg. Two for Heidenheim. Two draws so far. Augsburg with a big 5-2 win. Their biggest score 14 goals in seven matches. That's two goals a game on average. Heidenheim 2-1 win. Their biggest score nine goals in seven matches. 1.29 goals a game as well. Heidenheim just one win in six for them. 42% form for them at the moment. They are 11th. 28 points on the board against the Augsburg side. 50% form for them right now. 1-2 lost to and drawn to over the last six. They are 10th. 29 points on the board as well. Last time around, over at Augsburg, it was a 2-0 win for Augsburg back in December 2022. The reverse fixture. Uh, of course, that was a friendly game. Goodness gracious me. Can we, can we actually see? Yeah, they, they've not played a competitive game in uh, in uh, in Augsburg, the reverse fixture in Heidenheim back in October 2023 was a 5-2 win for Augsburg way back when. The odds for this one, though, we're looking at uh, Augsburg 11-10 on for the victory. 3-1 is the draw. 5-2, five, five your away win, Heidenheim. Augsburg, the favourites here, going to go with a 1-0 win for them to get themselves moving at long last. Leipzig against Darmstadt, of course, coming at you over in uh, in Leipzig. Uh, at the Red Bull Arena, played for the seven times 2013. Six wins for Leipzig, one win for Darmstadt. Uh, zero draw so far. Leipzig, 4-0 win, the biggest one. 13 goals in seven matches, 1.8 six goals a game. Darmstadt, one nil win the biggest one. Three goals in seven matches, 0.43 goals a game. Darmstadt on 17% form for them at the moment. 18th at the table. 13 points on the board right now. Leipzig, 58% form for them right now. Two defeats at the last six. They are fifth. 43 points on the board as well. Last around over in Leipzig. It was a 4-0 win for Leipzig back in April 2017. The reverse fixture in Darmstadt. 3-1 win it was for Leipzig as well. Over 1-4 on the bounce against Darmstadt. Of course, the odds for this one though, we have 7-1 on is your Leipzig. 52-2. The draw, 14-1 is your Darmstadt. Of course, uh, we're back in Leipzig. 2-0 win for them. Clean sheet to boot. And moving the chains. Werder Bremen up against Borussia Dortmund. Bit of a zing zong affair over at the Vassar Stadium. They have played each other 67 times in 1992. Got 22 wins for Bremen, 33 wins for Dortmund, 12 wins, uh, 12 draws so far. Bremen 4 0 win the biggest, got 103 goals in 67 games, 1.54 goals a game. Dortmund 5 0 win their biggest, got 126 goals in 67 matches, 1.88 goals a game. Our 58% form are Dortmund right now, just one defeat in the last six. They are fourth, 44 points on the board against the Werder Bremen side, also on 58% form for them. However, two defeats in the last six, they are eighth, 30 points on the board as well. Last time around over in Bremen, it was a 2 win for Dortmund back in uh, February 2023. The reverse fixture in Dortmund back in October was a one away for Dortmund who have won back-to-back -back against Bremen. Also back-to-back -back clean sheets as well. 5-2 to is your Werder Bremen. 10-3. The draw 70, uh, 2017 on is your Dortmund here. I'm going with a 1-1 draw here. Point apiece. Bremen are, are doing alright. Dortmund are a little bit rough, and rough around the edges but we'll see who comes out on top uh, this weekend. Bochum against Freiburg coming at you over at the Vanova Rohrstadion. They have played it 25 times since 1984. We've got 9 wins for Bochum. 12 wins for Freiburg. 4 draws so far. Bochum with a big 4-0 win. They're big Biggest score 36 goals in 25 matches, 1.44 goals a game on average. Freiburg, though, 5 0 win the biggest score, 25 goals, uh, sorry, 41 goals in 25 matches, 1.64 goals a game on average. Freiburg on 42% form for them at the moment, just one win in six. They are ninth, 30 points on the board against the Bochum side, just one win in six. 33% form for them at the moment, they are 15th at the table, 25 points 
on the board as well. Last time around, over at Bochum, was to win for Freiburg back in uh, February 2023. The reverse fixture in Freiburg way back in October. This campaign was 2-1 win for Freiburg. The odds for this one, we are looking at 5-4 uh, to four is your Bochum, 15-8 is your Freiburg, 11-4 is the draw. The hosts are favoured here. I'm going to give it a 2-0 win though for the other side. That's right. Freiburg taking the points back to win anyways. Uh, and of course, uh, moving along the ladder. Meanwhile, Frankie up against Hoffenheim at the, Do at the Deutsche Bank of Bark. Uh, they have played each other 29 times since 2008. 11 wins for Frankfurt. We've got 10 wins for Hoffenheim we've got 8 draws so far Frankie 4-0 win the biggest score 43 goals in 29 matches 1.48 goals a game Hoffenheim 4-0 win the biggest score 40 goals in 29 matches 1.38 goals a game Hoffenheim on 58% form for them right now just one defeat in the last 6 they are 7th they're starting to go up in the table quite drastically 33 points on the board up against the Frankfurt side 6 in the table 37 points on the board as well 50% form for them just one defeat in the last 6 drawing a lot of games both these two sides drawing a lot of games last time around over in Frankfurt it was a 4-2 win for Frankie back in November 2023 the reverse fixture in Hoffenheim was a 3-1 win for Frankie as well. Of course, last time around, though, uh, over at Frankfurt, it was 11-10. Oh, actually, 11-10 is the odds for Frankfurt for this one. 14-5 to draw. 11-5, of course, is your Hoffenheim here. A tight one again, but I'm going to back the boys here, back the host. 2-1 win against Hoffenheim to take the spoils. And then wrap it up, it is the unbeatables. It is Leverkusen. Up against uh, Wolfsburg, who are struggling right now. Played each other 54 times since 1997. 24 wins for Leverkusen, 20 wins for Wolfsburg. 10 draws so far. Leverkusen, big 4-0 win. Their biggest scored 94 goals in 54 matches. 1.74 goals a game. Up against the Wolfsburg side, 4 one win the biggest going 82 goals in 54 matches 1.52 goals a game of course Wolfsburg 33% form for them right now winless in the last 8 match is of course 13 for the table 25 points on the board against the Leverkusen side winning at least 6 on the bounce uh, top of the table 64 points on the board as well last round though in Leverkusen it was a 2-2 draw back in October 2022 the reverse fixture in Wolfsburg earlier in the season back in October 2-1 win it was for Leverkusen who are unbeaten against Wolfsburg over the last 4 2 wins 2, two, two draws so far the odds here 3-1 on Leverkusen 52-2 15-2 is your away side here 90-4 the draw Labour Cruz again taking the points on this one 3-1 win to keep themselves right on track for an incredible unbeaten season that's of course my picks up guys this of course is the table as it would look like if I'm spot on of course with Labour Cruz 67.7 points buying up there Stuttgart Leipzig of course and down Darmstadt Mainz and Köln don't forget to get the likes in here guys like 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 of course more likes more 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 viewers more competitors uh, for the season two, and more competition uh, for us next season and beyond of course and don't forget to subscribe if you do sit for of you are unsubscribed guys of course and don't forget of course keep on watching keep on believing and of course keep on predicting